Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. We just spoke with the two mouse thieves, and it turns out they're actually going to be extremely helpful for us. It's not just the blacksmith's hammer that we need to talk to them about, which we just did, but also they can help us, like, gain new skills and stuff. So, I think I want to do the blacksmith's hammer first, which is going to involve us going back to where we came from, then opening up some secret compartment in that seemingly empty jail cell. So let's go ahead and do that in just a second. But first thing I want to do is check out the other jail cell down here. Now the guard will see me in here. Ooh! Uh, hmm. I can't seem to, like... Oh, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. What's in here? Secrets. A skull down here. Crimson mushroom. A little hidey hole. Fate card. A lit candle. Someone's been here recently. Thief boots. Oh, cool. Another piece of the outfit. Need a tunic, a hat, and a belt now. Oh, there's all sorts of little mousy shortcuts. That is so cool. So where where am I now? Have I been here before? Uh oh. Oh yeah, I know this place. Okay, it turns out that was the way back to the jails. So just got past the sleeping guard. Oh, speaking of... I need to burn this. I think it's going to wake the guard, though. Let's do that real fast. Nothing to see. Okay, so I think they told me to read the instructions only once I got to the jail. So, let's do that. Fatally's cipher message. That's weird. The preview image shows three different... Like, shows three rings? Or, like, three instruction parts? But then when you look at it, it shows two? Hmm. So I guess they both need to be facing kind of inwards and down. Is it this place? Oh yes, probably these, right? Wait, maybe not. There's supposed to be two of them. Oh! Um, I just went down here. Just down this little spot here. Took me to the flooded cell. And I had the key for that. I don't remember how I got the key for that. But let's go check it out. Oh, two cots. This is probably the right one. So it must be those two rings, I'm thinking. Probably what the stool is for. Let's see. Mm-hmm. That should do it. right? I'm thinking that little like circle that looks like it's pointing inwards and down. Maybe that's uh, that thicker part, so maybe they're kind of like the opposite direction. There we go.
Got the grain. And... Rolo's lost hammer. Okay. Turn that to the blacksmith. And also return the stash to the two thieves. I'll meet you back there. Shh. He's here. Here's your stash from the old cell. That's the good stuff. And you have the smithy's hammer. So we're all square, right? Aye, we're square. Just watch yourself. There's something off about the smithy. Aye, have you seen his teeth? They're wooden. Rows of little wooden stumps. Like a haunted forest. <laughs> like a pauper's graveyard. I should go. Farewell. Bless you. Perfect timing. Oh, it's nighttime now. Uh, I should find somewhere to save first. Like over here. Okay. Yeah, it really is dark at nighttime. It's super, super dark. And this is with the brightness turned up considerably. Sticks. So we know at least one of the checkpoint passes is over in this direction. Next to that rat over there that's really hard to deal with. But gonna try to distract him. Let's open this first. We'll be alarmed. That's fine. That's good. There we go. Yes, just the one, huh? So that just closes automatically. There's no way past it, huh? Alright. Cool. That was a lot more successful than last time. So we need one more checkpoint pass. Don't know where we're going to get that from, but I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. Also should keep in mind, now that it's nighttime, we should be able to hear the scat beetles if we're near them. I don't actually know what they sound like, but I don't think I hear them right now. Oh wait. I can hide in the water? Oh, Little wet mouse. Hope they're not cold. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it looks like being nighttime really doesn't make it any harder for you to be spotted. Ooh, this is a good opportunity... ...to burn this. I've never been through this door. Uh-oh. Oh, that's where the armory is. Uh oh, we gotta go around him. Oof. Well, it's good to know where the armory is, at least. Okay, let's give the armory their hammer, or the smith their hammer, rather. Oh. Oh, I guess they leave when it's nighttime. Huh. That makes sense. I really didn't expect such a, like, relatively detailed day-night system. There we go, blacksmith is back. So do you really have wooden teeth? I'm not sure if I could see it. Ah, I can't tell. Here, I have your hammer. So you do. A good tool, that is. 
glad to have it back. Here. Five florins. Thank you. Now, is there anything you need? Hmm. Can you help me solve a puzzle? I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, oh, these strange ring symbols. Oh, okay. I'm good. I wonder if I should... I ha I'm not really finding any maps, you know? Maybe I should buy some more maps. The rampart. I do want to know how to get up to the ramparts. I saw those as I was coming down and up that basket to Silas's place. And I don't know how to get up there. How do I get to the ramparts? Is it worth two florins to you, Mouse? It is. Here. Look over yon to the west gate. You see those steps? Follow them up past the garden to the end of the gallery and turn right into the tower. West gate. The garden. Is that the garden that I took up to Silas? Past the garden to the end of the gallery, turn right into the tower. Along the corridors, there's a second set of stairs that lead straight up onto the ramparts. Hmm. Thank you. So, oh. You're seeing me. So, west is that way. So, past the garden. Past the garden? I'm not quite sure what that means, but yeah, apparently there's a set of stairs kind of in the middle of a hallway or something that leads up to the ramparts. Strikes me as important. I wish I could remember who has the armory key. <laughs> I don't, but I want to get up to the ramparts. So let's do it. So this is how I've been getting to the garden. Good, they're just going past. So this brings me up here around behind them. Yeah, so this takes me to the garden. I think. Well, somewhere near here. I don't know where the hell I am anymore. Have I not opened all these doors before? I guess not. Maybe this leads to the ramparts. Oh. I think it maybe does. I've never been up here. Oh. <laughs> Trying to do some parkour. Hmm. Might actually not be a bad idea. There's someone I could talk to over there? Huh. How do I deal with this guard, though? Steal some bread right in front of your mousy or ratty eyes, I mean. <laughs> oh, I think... I don't think that's a mouse or a rat that I see over there. That's like cooking. Oh, so that's the person I can talk to. Not, neither of these rats. I can talk to the cook. Um, I think I need to create a distraction. Just low enough that they can't see us. Oh no, that is a mouse. Oh my god, they're adorable. <gasps> Look at them. Oh man. Morning, my lovely. 
Take a seat and I'll be with you as soon as I... Who's this? A minstrel? I'm afraid I wasn't expecting you. We only have entertainment here in the winter months. Perhaps you would welcome a song, ma'am. That sounds like a very nice idea, except wouldn't the rats hear it? Oh, love, you make me feel like an old maid, ma'am. I'm Rezia. Uma Rezia. That's what they all like to call me around here. Uma. Haven't I heard that word or name before? It's good to meet you. But you're not here to play for us, are you? No. You're a prisoner, aren't you, my lovely? You're a ways from the main gate if you're looking to escape. So what brings you to my kitchen? Can you spare any food? That's the one thing I'm not going to ask. I have like 50 pounds of random food. Uh, are you going to report me? Oh, love, of course not. Though it might be best you don't show your face here too often. There are a lot of guards coming in and out of the commissary. I hate to see anything happen to you. What are you cooking, Uma? I'm baking bread. Will you try some? Uh, just a little, Uma, if I may. It's cooling right now, but remind me to give you a taste before you go. Okay. That's best if I go. Uh, wait, Mouse, here. You said you'd try some of the bread. You have a small taste of Rezia's food and feel reinvigorated. Thank you, Rezia. I love that outfit. Oh, that little, like, hand-woven hat. <laughs> what? Oh, no. I think I'm safe here. <laughs> They're not going away. I think they're just kind of glitching out. Hmm. We've reached a stalemate. Is there something I can jump inside of to hide? I don't see anything. I don't know what they're doing anymore. At this point, they should be able to pathfind to me, and also, this uh, rat here doesn't seem to see me at all. Oh, here we go. I need a kitchen key! Please don't come all the way in, please don't- okay, whew! This would seem to be the bathroom. There seems to be a hole here. I guess that's just because it's the bathroom? I'm trying to think if that's like some sort of a secret that I can go through. Not sure what I was accomplishing there. <laughs> yeah, this is a tough place to be. I don't think there's anything here but just like a bunch of food. I could try to get back there again, but I don't think there's I don't think there's anything there. this? Hmm. 
little mousy face. Ah, that brings me out to the garden. Hmm. So yeah, somewhere past the garden is how to get to the ramparts. And this can't be open from this side. Let me go back here and explore a bit, see if I can find something new. Let's burn some flags here. Okay, well... I <laughs> got him. See you. I wonder what the guards think of that. You just scurry on in and burn three flags and then disappear. They must think that's a strange thing to do, you know? Okay, yeah, so I'm thinking it's somewhere around here where there's supposed to be like a stairwell that goes up in the middle of the hall. I don't see anything though, so I guess maybe not. get from here? I see a rose over that way. Hmm. Get to all sorts of places from here. Including... Uh... You're not supposed to be up here, are you? Because that does not look right. Oh, no. Mm-mm. You're not supposed to be up here at all. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> World's half disappearing. But uh, yeah, here's the ramparts up here. Alright, I found it. Sorta. Of, uh, hmm. There's an invisible wall here. That makes things a little bit harder. Uh oh. I can't get over here. Oh, whoa. I... Okay, I just jumped back in bounds. Cool, okay. <laughs> I didn't know I was out of bounds. War room chest key. We're in the war room? Oh. Oh, we've been here before. Somewhere here leads to the ramparts? Well, I came from down below when I originally came. I think I also remember going up, too. I'm not sure which way to go to get to the ramparts. I don't know, this place is such a maze. Oh. Here's the ramparts. Okay. So I just never went that way, so I did go this way. So where exactly is this? I want to know where this links up to, because I'm confused. Oh. Oh, that's just right over here. You know, here. <laughs> Remember this place? Like, uh, here, which leads to this area, the garden, and the basket. Okay. It's starting to make sense now. place. Ooh. What's this? Ooh. Don't know why somebody put a door here, but it's perfect for mice. Oh, 
it allows you to go above this place here. That is very... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't fall. That is very cool. There's a scat beetle. And... Oh, is this a, a ladder? <laughs> Look at that! Can open up more shortcuts. This level design is really cool. I don't know why the scat beetle is on literally nothing. It was literally walking on nothing, but oh well. Got it back. And down there brings me uh, to that guard that kept trying to see me when I was by the well. Gotcha. Now is my time. If I can reach it. Because we gotta go up here, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's one of the scat beetles. I think we might be safe here. I'm gonna hang out here, wait for him to go past. Don't think they'll see me. Oh, that was kind of close, but we're good. I think I've been down there already. I keep jumping instead of pressing use. I don't know why. Uh-oh. Gained health and stamina. Oh, I leveled up for the first time. Ah. <sighs> Wonder if I have like skill points to spend or something. Yeah, so this is a whole complete. Oh, oh I didn't think they'd turn around and look. Yeah, so we've unlocked, like, a, a entirely new place. I've never been anywhere over here, and it seems to be quite large. So i got two roses. Let's take a look at them. So the last one we read was eight, right? No, I guess we have three that we haven't done. Your mentor or Mara? To choose between them was unthinkable. Tomorrow will be the day, you told yourself, as you'd done yesterday and the day before. You slept in fits and starts, rising before dawn no closer to a decision. Master Lulin's room was empty, blankets neatly folded at the foot of the bed. On the table was a lute, his lute, made by his master from Driftwood, gathered on the shore of Lake Valia. And a note. This life is your song. Had it really been three whole years since Master Lulin left? You'd worked hard and learned so much since then. How to read the land, the winds, and the changing seasons, learning the uses for each crop, for food, for dyes and fabrics. And then to you and Mara came a child. Just one. Rare for mice, and so thought of as a blessing. You named him Bryn, the mouse word for seed. The minstrel's life seemed so distant then, and you were happy. Maris' brothers came of age and left to seek their fortune in the mines. Her father passed away not long after, but there was little time to mourn. While Mara nursed Bryn, you worked the land alone, and your lute lay untuned and unplayed in the attic. Yet still some nights you dreamed of music and the freedom of the open road. Ooh, 
another place to sleep. I'm very lucky that I haven't started any accidental fires by burning those up. I mean, like, there's so much wood and... Look at this little bed here, too. It's just made of, like, straw. That would go up in an instant. So, it's 4 p.m. right now. Okay. The guard sometimes looks this way, right? Yes. Far tower. So where does this lead? Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> this game's really pretty. Oh, there's a guard. far down do they come? Far enough. Oh, do I have no sticks? I used up all my sticks. Okay. Bottles it is. Get a good look at this view. Just want to make sure I don't slip off the edge. I haven't saved in a while. Ooh, this looks like something that could be burned. Should I try my flint and steel again? I've never been able to use it on anything so far. I don't know what it's for. Hmm. Whoa. Bees. They have health? Oh, 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 they're getting angry just by me being near him. Um, so I could throw this at the nest, but I don't see how that would accomplish anything good. No, I haven't saved in a while. I'm not going to do it. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of really good mushrooms around him. Maybe you are supposed to push it down. I imagine they'd instantly come for you, though. Does line of sight matter? Nope, just proximity. I'm gonna risk it. I think we're good. Yeah, I mentioned if I try to grab honey, that may be a bad idea. But for now, we're good. So if you look at the description for these things, they're under miscellaneous, and they all say, like, uh... Well, some of them say, like, like this one says, used in potions and poisons, potions and poisons. So I think most of them are for potions somehow. Uh, this one, however, does not say that. They say these mushrooms grow only on the bones of the dead. You idly wonder if they contain any of their host's memories or dreams. Oh, three-headed acorn. I never looked at that. In mouse folklore... The triple cupped acorn symbolizes Bryn, the three-headed mouse who plants the seed of hope into the dreams of sleeping mice, and after whom your son was named. So yeah, everyone's used in potions, 
and poisons other than the crimson mushroom. Need the candlestick for that. I can burn this? What's behind it? That's ironic. An ill wind blows, snuffing out the obelisk candles. Huh. This is probably for, like, some quest in the future that I haven't done yet, I'm guessing. Inscription. Canlan. No creature braver nor more humble. Young queen? I just got a, a queen? That must be for a quest, right? A subdued bee queen. A young bee queen ready to lead her own colony. And some honey. Cool. No idea what that's for, but must come in handy. Oh god, those are bear traps. That would probably just outright kill me. It wouldn't capture my leg. It would capture halfway up my body. Wow. I wonder if I can trigger them. Yeah. Oh. Dang it! Well, there goes all my bottles. Got to keep a lookout for him. I think there was one more. Yeah, right here. Anything else I can throw? Well, this slimy stuff, but I shouldn't. Oh! It did look sharp. Makes sense that it would hurt. Ah, look at this. I love just hanging out in nature, being a little mouse and picking mushrooms. Oh, right, we gained another bar on the top left, because we leveled up after we got one of those roses. That reminds me, I should take a look at, like, skills. We've got 2,000 Renown. So yeah, I can't seem to pick any skills or do anything with that yet. Perhaps with the help of the two Mouse Thieves, I could do something. They mentioned, like, helping me learn stuff. Looks like it's turning nighttime. Wow, so can you do some like serious potion making? Given the variety of ingredients, I can't imagine this is all just for a quest or something. I feel like it's actually going to be potion making. I don't know. More bear traps I got to look out for. Oh, bees. More bees. And this time I don't have anything to throw at them. Here lies Ula, his faithful bow at his side. Oh god. Oh no. Good thing it didn't kill me. I really need to save it. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. 
You turned around! How did they not see me? Perfect. Oh, there's a million mushrooms. Look at how many mushrooms there are. Just run by a wall and you get just tons of mushrooms. Noggin top and cats something and there's like a dozen varieties at least. I do desperately need to save it though, I'm a little bit scared. That's the main guard over there. So we kind of looped back around, I think, to pretty much where we came in. So I've gone everywhere but, like, but this main structure in the center. And I don't know if this is where I came from right here or if this is another pathway. This, this is another pathway. Let's see if it has somewhere to save. Yeah, look at how dark this is. So the brightness is almost maxed. I could turn it up a little bit more. I guess I'll just max it. Don't know what this does, but let's pull it. Probably need to attach something to that at some point. Looks like that caved in. I really do just need somewhere to save though. <laughs> Please. Ooh, I think this might be a shortcut. Yes! Oh, that is amazing. So that's the other side of this door here. Cool. Oh, that's super helpful. Oh, we can just save right here. Perfect. Yeah, the level design is definitely... pretty confusing, but... there are definitely really good shortcuts. So I like the way that as long as you keep exploring, things will open up and they'll start to make sense and things will click. It's nice. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to head back to the forest and explore all around there.